Um, oh, hey, DJ Richie Sky. You know what? That's a really good question. Uh, was there anything from the trailer that surprised you? Um, the one thing that surprised me with was with such a full season with seven women. Um, you can kind of like see which housewives don't have much storyline. <laughs> Okay, yes. Yeah, he can come right on to the top. Oh. What's up guys, it's your boy Richie Scott. We are back with another video. I wanna thank y'all so much for tuning into this channel. And if you ain't done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell button so that you know you can be clued into when we drop a new new right here on this channel. Listen, it's going down in the A. We gotta talk about Mr. T.I. and the Tiny and the Family Hustle is back on April 13th. I got the scoop and the dish on exactly what's going down. Then we're gonna be talking about Kenya Moore. It's shocking fans by doing two things that one may seem crazy and one I got a couple of theories on. Just stick around for that. And then we're gonna be talking about my interview with Monique yesterday. I did get a chance to talk with her on live. And then we're gonna be discussing everything that she had to say about that explosive Real Housewives of Potomac trailer. So stick around for all the details. But before we get into that, y'all know because I'm spilling tea, I got to be drinking some tea too. Okay, so this is my little CBD detox tea that I I take sometimes twice a day right now I'm taking it twice a day because I am trying to lose some weight and get in shape while we are all in the house I don't order myself a yoga mat and everything so I'm about to be getting it in and I'm asking you guys to join me on this mission click the link down in the description below so that you can get your tea on get your weight loss on get your fitness on get your health and wellness on okay uh, let's go ahead and dive into what we got to be talking about today because it is lit up in this place okay it is super lit today all right, um, T.I. and the Family Hustle. Okay, T.I., Tiny, and the Family Hustle is back on April 13th. VH1 did premiere a new trailer for it. And in the trailer, they will be discussing the Hyman scandal. Y'all know which scandal I'm talking about. It is the scandal wherein T.I. was on a podcast just last year. And he happened to tell the podcast host that he happened to go to the gynecologist with his 18-year-old daughter and basically check to see if her hymen was still intact to make sure that she was not having relations with the boys, okay? Now, the fans went into an uproar about this. He had to go onto the Red Table Talk to clear his name. Listen, Red Table Talk is the place where everybody seems to want to go to clear their names. You know what I'm saying? I, I just felt like, when did that become the case? But I'm here for it, okay? I'm, I'm actually pretty much here for it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, what's really going on is that Deja, the daughter involved in this whole situation, she is letting us know in the preview that she thinks with her dad have not been the same. And it sounds like T.I. has not learned his lesson because he is seen in the trailer saying that ain't nobody going to tell him how he's going to raise his child. So I don't really know what to think about that whole situation. I would have thought that he learned his lesson with all that backlash that he got with regards to that. At the end of the day, right, nobody can tell you how to raise your child, but they can give you uh, a lot of grief for it, okay? They can give you a lot of grief and they can tear you up on social media about it, okay? Um, so we'll have to see how that whole situation plays out. If you guys are interested in that, let me know uh, in the comment section below. In the last poll that I did for new shows that you guys wanted me to cover, you guys uh, basically, I think, uh, led out with 90 Day Fiance and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So I will be adding those into the rotation uh, starting very, very soon. Okay, now with that being said, let's go on to Miss Kenya Moore and how she is shocking fans. She shocked fans the other day by releasing her fake ID, okay? And the people are saying she has been scamming for years. Listen, as she released it, I took it as a joke. I took it as funny. I took it as a fun little memory. But she didn't change her middle name and everything in this whole picture. And as you guys can see, she's had that long, luxurious, long, beautiful hair for quite some years. Um, I don't really know if fans should be shocked by this. I would happen to say, isn't that illegal? So it would seem like it would raise some types of questions. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. But listen... It's, it's neither here nor there for me. But what is here for me is, or what I am here for, I should say, is her doing this. The Brooklyn Daily page, which is probably most likely, we can assume and only assume, uh, is run by Kenya Moore herself, or at least Kenya Moore's team, was posting about 
Mark Daly's restaurant, SoCo BK, still being open for deliveries and takeout, okay? So she is basically still supporting this man's business, but doing so from the baby's page. So someone in the comments and a lot of people were saying, don't advertise for him, baby girl. He has zero respect for his child's mother and that speaks volumes of him. Now, I do happen to agree with that. But other people have this to say, this is why I love Kenya. She's a true class act because I wouldn't post his business, meaning she wouldn't support his business. He will he or she, whoever the commenter was. Then another commenter said, Kenya has a heart of gold because I wouldn't post nothing to support his business. And another commenter posted this, he will always be Brooklyn's dad and she needs to be taken care of. It's all about Brooklyn and securing her future. Big ups, Kenya, okay? So at the end of the day, this is how I feel about this whole situation, guys. At, Brooklyn is still going to need to eat and she is going to need a profitable mother and father in order to continue to do so, okay? At the end of the day, if this show is taken away from Kenya or if Kenya walks away from this show again, you know, her father will most likely still have a restaurant to manage. You understand what I'm saying? And it would behoove her to continue to support that business as much as she can given the platform that she has, okay? Especially with getting news out around this current period of time. So I, for me, I am here for her supporting him. I think it's awesome. I think that in light of everything that's happened, I think that it does show that she can be very compassionate and that she can be very smart and strategic because at the end of the day, that's the smart play to support this man who will ultimately be supporting their child together. So for me, I'm here for it, but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Now, let's get on to Miss Monique Samuels because you guys saw that insanely wild trailer for The Real Housewives of Potomac. Oh yes, it's going down. We're gonna see everything from the new scandal with Ashley Darby and Michael Darby with the strippers to the whole fight with Monique and Candace to Giselle dating Pastor Jamal Bryant to Robin Dixon getting engaged to Juan to Karen Huger looking like she's about to divorce or leave Ray, but looking snatched in the process. Come on, hair doc. You guys may remember that I interviewed the hair doc a, quite a, a couple of months ago with regards to his work with Portia and Karen. And the funny thing about it is the hair doc, he has his own salon in DC or in Maryland, I believe. And he also did Portia's hair for the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, 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 cast photo as well. So shout out to him. His real name is Steven. Sorry, Steven, I'm giving the people your government, but that is the hair doc and he is pretty much really, really well known for doing hair. But aside from that, let's get back to Monique, okay? So yesterday I found out that Monique was going to be going live, okay? And so I had to jump on and see what she had to say and see if I can, you know, get some dish for you guys for today. And then boy, did I get it, okay? She went down everything from the, um, the rumors that she was being demoted to why she continues to stay on the show, why she remains silent when there was all of the mess going on last fall about the fight. She goes into a little bit about, you know, what she was surprised about or wasn't surprised about with regards to the new season that you guys saw at the clip in the beginning of this video. But I had a couple of questions that I wanted to ask her, so we'll get into that right now. What <laughs> What's up, boo? How are you? I'm good. Over here still gagging at this trailer. You and me both. I don't watch it probably like eight times. Me too. <laughs> and then every time I watch it, I hear something I didn't hear the first time or I, I notice something I didn't notice the first time. Like, I was like, man, this thing is so jam-packed. And if you don't really like watch and listen closely, you miss little, little you know. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I got a couple of questions. A couple of questions. Okay. So I know you weren't surprised by anything because you answered that question earlier, but did yeah. you, what, were you, ex the, the whole Ashley and Michael situation, what? <laughs> <laughs> again? <laughs> Not again. Oh, God. Were, well, you, were, you remember last year there was like this blogger that wrote this whole thing and had pictures and all that type of stuff. So I, um, I wasn't surprised by that because I thought people already knew that there was some scandal going on. Um, because it was like out, you know, like people were like posting about it and stuff. 
Um, but you know, one thing about Ashley and Michael, they are definitely resilient. <laughs> they and they are never a star, boring. A tornado, an earthquake, coronavirus, all of it. <laughs> all right, can you tell me one more thing? Can you give us a preview of like what your confessional looks look like? Because we didn't see none of those in the trailer. Oh, I know. They, they played me out. They showed not one. <laughs> they played you um, out. Okay, so I'll just give you a hint. So I tried to do like a little theme and I wanted to do like um, looks that were inspired by different time periods. Okay. So yeah, so I did like the 1950s. I did the 1970s ah. and then my last one will be something around the 90s hopefully if i can find the right you know look yeah. that makes sense um yeah. but yeah um yeah they're they're um gonna be fun they're gonna be uh i think it's either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it basically okay so okay. um my second look for sure um i'm interested to see uh what people think about uh -oh, it because uh -oh. it was very much uh inspired by my daughter um, okay. And after I wore the the look and she saw it, she was like, "Mommy, can you do my hair like yours?" And I, <laughs> that just was like everything. I said, "That is gold." If if, if everybody hates it, I don't even care because my daughter loves it. <laughs> Boom. Okay, my last yes. question is this: the book. What's up with the book? The book I just finished. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. So all right, I always talk about potty training and um, potty training at an early age. So yeah. for people who don't know, I started potty training my kids when they were like sitting up. So my son, my oldest son was six months old when I first taught him to use the potty. And most people um, don't realize that you can actually teach a baby that young and they are so smart. They catch on really? and they would much rather not sit in mess. You know, they would actually like, so I give you all of my tips and tricks, but then even at the end of the book, for people who already have kids who are walkers, um, that are probably like over a year, you know, one, two, and three that are struggling with uh, potty training. I give a lot of tips that I've actually given to some friends over the years at work. Mm. So okay. it's like a how-to, it's really a quick read. Um, it's 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 just all about just giving you some tips so that you don't go through that journey like frustrated. So it's a Not For Lazy Moms book. Oh. And um, oh. I'll tell you the name of it because I haven't told anybody, but the name of it is Potty Training Mommy and Daddy. So it's a oh, how-to okay. for parents. To, we uh, got some exclusive here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, girl, I ain't got no kids, but I'll still buy it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, maybe you know somebody that might have. It's a good buy for somebody that's expecting, for sure. Okay. Um, okay. But it's a fun read. And I'm going to make sure I have something. I have something up my sleeve that are going to be for people who don't have kids or singles and things like that. Because I don't want to forget about, you know, the singles out here. Because a lot of yeah. the content that we discuss, even on our Not For Lazy Moms podcast, it's not always about parenting. Sometimes it's yeah. about relationships or what we went through before we had kids and then how it is now. So it's really for everybody. So I want to make sure that message gets uh, gets across. Well, all right now. You keep doing your thing. <laughs> we'll keep, you know, we'll keep talking and all that good stuff. I'll let this I'll let the floor open to somebody else, but I just wanted to come in and say, "Hey, boo." Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm over here looking like, "All right, where the black socialites at?" because um you remember he wrote the exclusive on um the whole breaking, you know, like with the I know. I I'm, I was I was waiting on him to jump in too. <laughs> right, right, right. I got but you know what? I got so many messages popping up right now and uh, so many people asking to go live. I'm going to have to scroll and see. But if um but if you out there resend if you want to um go live or whatever with me. So All right, bye boo. Yes. All right. I'll talk to you. <laughs> okay, so we did get a little bit of an exclusive there with regards to her book. But I want you guys to continue watching because there are more clips to follow, okay? I'm going to give you guys a little bit of what she had to say in her live. It's really, really good watch. Definitely watch as much as you can. I didn't post the entire thing, but I did give you guys the highlights. So be sure to watch that and then we'll come back at the end. No, honestly, so I appreciate y'all's support. Um, I appreciate y'all seeing through the bull. Um, so yeah, I, I really... I do this for y'all, so thank you. And um, and it's been great, you know, as far as the platform goes with just trying to promote my businesses and um, it's been great. Did you get demoted? No, I did not get demoted. Um, eyebrows are beautiful, thank you. What's up, CT? Um, yeah, we love you because you're the most relatable. Thank you, thank you. Um, 
you bring realness to the show. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Will they still air the altercation or only what was shown in the trailer? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, but usually the trailer is teasing moments that are going to be seen um, during the show. So um, that's all I can say about that. I have no idea what's going to be shown um, because, uh, you know, they don't really give us that type of information. <laughs> um uh is Giselle gonna overdo it after the blow up she never liked you well Giselle's gonna do what she always does which is do the most um um and yeah this season is gonna be huge it's gonna be a lot of um personal story wise I feel like all of us went deep um I felt like we all allowed ourselves to be really vulnerable and open and then you see how some of that backfires <laughs> Um, don't let these girls run you off the show. Well, first of all, if I decide to leave the show, it's not because somebody ran me off. Um, I was bullied when I was younger, but never in my grown age. <laughs> so, um, if I decided to leave, it would be because that's what I want to do. But, um, as far as like being run off the show or banned or anything like that, that is fake news. Um, do you think you and Candace will ever get back cool? No, I'm not interested at all. Uh, how was Wendy's first season? Um, I'm really not sure. So, didn't see much of the other people on the show. <laughs> um, let's see. Are you and Ashley friends? Yeah, me and Ashley are. We're we're fine. We're doing good. Yes, May third is the date. Um, how's the new girl Wendy? Y'all will have to maybe go on her page and ask her how she is. <laughs> um, at first, um. At first glance and, and meeting her and all of that, she's very cool. She's really cool. Uh, I love you and Karen's friendship. Karen, that's my girl. Karen is hilarious. All right, so as you guys can see, this is going to be a season that you do not want to miss, okay? You're not gonna wanna miss this season. Chances are, listen, we're not gonna be able to get that Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, but we are gonna be getting a lot of Housewives in the next couple of, a couple of weeks and coming months. So we do have some things to get excited about and I can go ahead and tell you right now firsthand that the news is going to be popping, okay? So with that being said, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell button, and I will see you in the next video.